Hi everybody, welcome back into Universal Beauty. It's been a minute because I had a nasty flu that was really keeping me from filming anything. Um, just, I, I still sound like a little bit froggy in my throat, but I couldn't even like say a couple of sentences without coughing like crazy. So it just absolutely wasn't happening for me for the last couple of weeks. I know that we have many things to discuss. Um, Today I want to do a product review of a company called Doll 10 that I've been um, interested in and we're going to try out their products and I'm going to show you how I got this look here. Not the eyeshadows but just the foundation and blush and highlighter and uh, we're talking and eyebrows for two also for Doll 10. So we're going to talk about them, what a cool company they are. We are going to pick our winner finally for the MAC Hyper Real Glow um, highlighter set palette and um, Let's get to it. So if you want to know how to get this look from Doll 10, just keep on watching. Okay, so I have got my eyeshadow on. I just, uh, it, I, what I used is Edward Best Sunlit Sands. I kind of always sort of keep that to the side. It's sort of my go-to, um, you know, in, in my eyes, the right answer is always Edward Best. But uh, I digress. It's not really the eyeshadows that I'm talking to you about today. I'm going to talk to you about a company called Doll 10. So I haven't done any foundation or concealer kind of stuff. And you can see I have a lot of discoloration. Um, so I'm going to try out Doll 10 today. Uh, Doll 10 is a company that is founded by a woman who was a cancer survivor of some rare form of cancer. And uh, so she has been in the beauty industry for years and was just you know was looking in the mirror at a person she didn't recognize and so she really wanted to create cosmetics that are also um really good skincare mixed together so they're always doing something really great for your face doll 10 being in 10 minutes if you can just take 10 minutes of me time that that sort of sets the tone for your day and um, gets you out the door and so you know it, that's that's sort of why she she picked that name for the company uh, it's some stuff I'm gonna try today is the Hydrolux smoothing foundation Whoa, blowing it out by the lights again there we go can you see that and this is in the shade light medium um, if I had any complaint about the company I would say that it is um, the shade range isn't large um, everything's represented from pale to deep however there's only like six shades and the, it, it really just isn't enough this being like kind of a newer company they're not like brand spanking new but I know it's difficult for a newer company to offer like 75 78 100 shade ranges but that I feel like has to improve for them because it's just not a one shade fits all kind of thing and like I said although it's represented in those six shades from pale to deep it's just not enough so that would really be the only thing that I'm hoping and and I get the idea that this their founder she seems pretty you know on it so I feel like that's probably going to change over time um, and also I'm going to try out the concealer today as well and this is Hydrolux concealer in also the light medium for me. I'm going to try the brush. This is the Doll 10 number no. 7 brush and it's double ended. It is a foundation brush. I'm not a big fan of brushes to apply foundation, um, but I'm going to give this a try. I'm also going to keep my damp blending tool on hand just in case. And um, there's a, a really great tool they've got for. Um, brows this is the master and this is like a, it just in the universal but the really cool thing about this is okay on one end you've got the pencil that comes up and you know this one like I said this is in the shade universal in the middle you've got a sponge tipped um, fill in and on the very end it, you've got the gel on the brush for setting um, so anyway, kind of ingenious little um, three three product pen that is that they made here. So that's going to be fun to try out. Also, uh, let's see. This is um, the Hydrogel Cream Balm, and this is in the color Dolce, which is like a nice kind of neutral pink. 
And on top of that will go the H2 Glow Highlighter, and this is in Pink Diamond. And it looks like this. It's like a pinky shimmer. All right, so let's give this a whirl. Boy, this on the Central Coast, it is raining kind of on and off these past couple of days. Um, we don't get like our southern, northern, and inland counterparts. We are in the middle of heading towards the end of May, and it's still kind of weird weather for us. Um, everybody else is getting hot, heating up, and I don't know what it is. I don't suffer from allergies, but there is something going on with when it rains, it stirs something up, and I my eyes just run for like half the day. I don't know what that's all about. It's driving me crazy. In fact, you know, it's, uh, it's happening now. Just tearing, you know, and... Uh, Wow, if anybody knows of a really, really good waterproof eyeliner, message me. Let me know. Um, I can do, you know, I got some good mascara, but um, wow, it's just, I really hate having to look after makeup all day long. I don't have time for that. So anyway, the other thing though is the, the for me, the great thing is today, it's like this rainy, gloomy day, and I... Uh, I have this amazing pair of bear paw boots like that uh, that I got. Um, let me just like kind of wiggle out of this. I gotta show it to you because it's just that good. Um, I had a pair of these Apre ski boots, you know, whatever. I'm not a skier, but I loved them. And they're faux fur, they're kind of fun, but the, the faux fur has like come such a long way that now these bear paw boots okay this is what they look like you know they're these opera ski boots these are the mongolian lamb but it's a faux mongolian lamb but look at how good i mean this looks like miles better than just the faux fur boots that i used to have they were like um they look like teddy bear you know plush animal stuff but these bear paw boots they got a nice tread um just built onto the boot is this amazing Mongolian lamb. I'm I'm obsessed. I love these. Um, so I get to wear them today, even though everybody else is probably kind of doing their um, their summer stuff. This is like a cool thing, and I'm so I'm kind of happy for that too. Get to run around in these boots. Uh, Bear Paw is a brand that does really good quality, um, all kinds of different boots. Um, these I know aren't going to be for everybody, but I I just love them. Um, there, I think they, those retail around normally about 200 bucks, but now that they're last season, um, I was able to get them for like more like around 130. And like I say, they look so good for a faux fur, um, good stuff. All right. That, that aside, let's get started with doll 10 and see how it goes with them. Okay. So we're going to start with the Hydrolux. Oh, I've already primered too, just so you know, um, and uh, so now going on with the Hydrolux Smoothing Foundation. I'm just going to put a little dollop on my hand. Gosh, this camera blows out everything. All right, just bear with me. And I'm going to put a little on here. Maybe like this a uh, little bit. It's not uh, thick. It's not super thick, this stuff. So just... Keep that in mind, it's uh, very liquid. All right, let's try this brush and see how we get on. I'm gonna just start going in. I'm a person that likes kind of a medium coverage. I don't like a real full coverage um, foundation because I do like to have some semblance of my skin coming through. I don't like the look of complete maquillage where it's just, uh, you know, obliterates all your features and you just start over again. I mean, there's a place for that and it's like, gosh, you know, and it's a great thing for like editorial. It looks beautiful, you know, the stuff that people are able to achieve. But I don't like lines of demarcation. I don't like that heavy, heavy, heavy look. So... This is kind of a medium coverage thing here. Um, okay, so the brush is getting the product distributed very nicely, but just because I think I'm so used to it, I am gonna come in there and uh, 
bounce this with my blending tool just because I kind of prefer that and a lot of times I realize a lot of people would do their foundation and concealer first before eyeshadow but today like I said I just didn't okay that for me is a little bit better uh, all right I like the coverage it's pretty good I'm gonna try this out with now the concealer also in the light medium for me and um, again this has got skincare mixed in with the product so they're saying you can take it right up under your eye even if you're older like me I usually try not to get too much concealer to that's gonna settle anywhere but from what I understand with this one you can go ahead and really take it right up there and uh, we'll just feather a little bit out on these other areas where I have discoloration we'll see what happens okay you can already tell that this formula seems to be one that is going to dry quickly I'm gonna go in with the other end of the brush and start this out but I actually I can well that's actually blending it pretty nice but I still feel that just because probably since I'm so used to it I am going to finish that off with my um, damp sponge blending tool you know this is a pretty good brush I would say I definitely wouldn't discount it it's like definitely applying the product how it's supposed to um, you know probably you could just go in with your fingers now and press that into place and that's not too bad but I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that with my blending tool I don't want anything settling in any cracks anywhere and I do have them so Okay, doll 10. Kind of like where we're going with that. I think this is good coverage. Um, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Okay, so I'm going to go on and move to the Hydrogel Cream Balm. And I believe you can wear this, you know, all over your face. It, it, it's a, I'm going to use it as a blush, but I believe you can do it um, on your lips, even on your lids if you wanted to. But anyway, taking my middle finger, I'm just kind of going around the balm this way tapping it and uh, smile and then move over to your ring finger just to deposit that blush again with it's on the products on my middle finger then I'm moving to my ring finger to apply and the uh, all right Smells good too. It's got, you know, a nice, uh, nice fragrance. I'm trying to think of what that is. Sort of vanilla. It's kind of what it reminds me of. All right. And then the H2 Glow Highlighter in Pink Diamond is, uh, we're going to highlight with that just a tad. It's really hard for me to show you this color, but it's got, well, look at me. Oh, yeah. That's going to help. <laughs> it's a pinkish shimmer. All right, pink diamond it's called, and that one with my middle finger, and I'm just doing a little highlight. Yeah, I like that too. It's pretty good. Now, just give myself just a little more down the middle. Not a big glow. Okay, so. The other thing, this is not related to Doll 10, but I just am so obsessed with this. Um, Too Faced Chocolate Gold, Chocolate Soleil um, Bronzer. I love this stuff. I'm telling you, it has just got the most beautiful gold. You know, I'm hitting pan on it, but it's a bronzer with a gold kind of a shimmer to it. I think it's beautiful. So I'm just going to go ahead and bump this up oh gosh 
smells so good, you guys. You know the chocolate stuff just smells like heaven. But don't eat it, even though you want to. Okay, so that for me is just kind of a way to hit around the outside and, oh, you know, contour a little. Not really a contour, it's more of a bronzer, but anyway, that's the way I like it. Love this. Chocolate gold, chocolate soleil, Too Faced. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now let's try this brow out from Doll Tan. Okay, the first thing, like I said, it's the little pencil. It's very flat, very skinny on that side. So just gonna go in and do this. Um, I like my brows to be groomed, but I don't go in for the crazy microblading. Um, well, like everybody else, you know, you gotta pick your pick your poison. There, there's not a budget for like everything, and nobody is sending me anything free. So you really have to pick what are you gonna do. I like my brows neatened up, groomed looking, but for microblading to be added to my list of other services that I have to do to keep everything together, I just I can't. So anyway, um, that's why sometimes I will, you know. I don't think my brows are like the greatest thing in the world, but like as long as they're looking clean and groomed, I'm fine with that. But having said that, boy, if you're a person that's into the microblading and you know, you have that very precise look, it is beautiful. It's just, uh, yeah, speaking of uh, picking your poison, um, so many beautiful new palettes are out right now and I've been talking to a couple of my girls on social media and I notice that everybody is really onto the Too Faced Natural Lust palette and that I've had my eye on it, but I was kind of, uh, you know, thinking, am I going to go for this or not? But now that I've talked to a couple of other uh, sparkling beauties and they're all into it, so I, I did order one today. It's 30 shades that have never been used by Too Faced in any other kind of palettes across the board. So gonna dive into those and that's something to look forward to the other thing that I've had my eye on forever it's an older palette it's Sigma and it's the warm neutrals volume 2 and it's just got everything that are my colors that I love so much these kind of rosy brown cinnamon looking kind of uh, and, and even reddish and um, shimmers and mattes really is beautiful and I did pull the trigger on that one today too just because I've had my eye on it for so long. I would love to get into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette, but that one is gonna be a little on hold for me. Again, we have to pick with what's in our budget, and um, the only palettes that I usually run out and buy right out of the gate, as soon as they come out, are like the Naked Palettes, the Urban Decay, um, all the Naked Palettes, Naked Heat, and uh, Naked Cherry. I, I just love those, so I usually, buy those straight away and I'm also I've been a very big fan of the uh, Too Faced the kind of the chocolate bar series um, that was you know the first one the second one the chocolate gold um, even also the peaches the one um, peaches white peach those I will usually grab those also right when they come out um, Too Faced you know they do these palettes that um, are, the, those are the ones in the metal cases that I was talking about, but these other ones like the Natural Lust, um, the Pumpkin Spice, and the Sugar Plum uh, one around from Christmas, they're in the cardboard flat, and they are here and then they're gone. So they don't hang around for a long time. And uh, well, anyway, from talking to my girls, I'm convinced. So I did order mine today. We'll have some uh, testing for those coming up. You know, and it's okay if you're late to the party. Um, it's uh, still a good thing because like I said, just, you know, that palette's been out for a little while, but talking to my girls, they convinced me to run and get one. So we'll take a look at that and maybe, maybe you guys will wanna try it too if you haven't already. Okay, so now I'm moving to the middle of this um, master uh, eyebrow doll 10. This is the one with the sponge on the tip and this is just for a little bit of filling in with what you didn't get with the crayon. Okay, and we just kind of, it's a little, little bit slightly dark for me, but that's okay. I mean, it's workable. And then finally on the other end, we have the uh, gel setting stuff. See, tiny little brush brow and brow brush, sorry. And uh, 
you know, this is where you can just comb everything into place and then have it set. It's like a little bit of hairspray. And uh, I like to kind of slope up and then give it a slope down. And I do have one eyebrow that is a little bit wily that doesn't like to behave like the other one. But I think that's everybody. And now I feel like I just got a little bit too thick right here, so I'm going to correct that with just a brow brush. And just bring that up and see, yeah, it just kind of will take off if you've got like a blob or something like that. Okay. All right, doll 10, not bad. Um, trying to match these brows, I swear. This one usually cooperates and this one doesn't, but this one of course today looks higher up in the middle. So I don't know, I could spend all day just trying to make these more precise. They're not gonna do it. Okay, <clears throat> so what do we think? Doll 10, mm, I'm liking it. That highlighter is pretty subtle, that pink diamond. Okay, um, I like an overdrawn lip, so again, I'm going in with just a brown um, pencil, pin line. And then might as well try the Doll 10 um, Hydrogel Cream Balm as a lip. Um, lip thing, okay. Yeah, that's pretty pink. So that works as a nice um, lip balm as well. Um, being who I am though, I swear, you guys, I always have to have a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to the highlighter as well. And just to put some in the middle. I like a little shimmer with my stuff. Okay, so that is the doll 10. I like it. I think it's, I'm giving it, this is a good thumbs up. It's an interesting company. Mm, I like the backstory. I like the idea of having skincare involved with your um, makeup products. So I think they're one to watch. Um, I would really, like I said, love to see them improve on the foundation range of skin tones, but, um, Definitely worth a try. See what you think. Okay, so I'll be right back and then we'll finally pull a winner for the MAC Hyper Real Glow that I promised a couple of weeks ago. And um, we'll get to that because, uh, gosh, I had a, a terrible flu and I couldn't even talk for a few sentences without going into a big coughing fit. So it wasn't really conducive to doing a video. Thanks for hanging in there. And I really apologize for the delay with that. But okay, give me a minute and we'll be right back and go ahead and pull our winner. Okay, so now let's pull our winner. Uh, we have a few names in the big orange jar here. And... Um, as I said, I had made a video for this giveaway a couple of weeks ago, and what it's for is the MAC Hyper Real Glow, and this is a, a highlighter palette that has three shades. Um, actually, there's four different ones of these. If you go on MAC's website, you'll see them. Uh, this one here is the, for the winner. It's one that's called Get It Glowin', and it is mainly a um, gold uh, from pale to deeper golds in the three. The one that I normally use, I've forgotten what it's called, but it's more of a rose gold. i um, going to show you mine, So, because I, I don't want to open that one. That is, of course, going to be for the pleasure of the person that wins it. And uh, <laughs> sorry, but let me grab mine if I can find it now. Doesn't it figure? I should have planned ahead. Because where's my... Here it is. Okay, mine is the Hyper Real Glow, and you can see it's got more of a rose foiling on the front of it. It You get three different ones. This is a Flash and Awe, Rosy Glow, and Light of the Party. And they look like this. They're looking kind of tan, um, but they are they do have more of a rosy. This lightest one is called Flash and Awe. Then this one that I tend to use the most is Rosy Glow. And then this one down here is Light of the Party. But it's really kind of good because it's like you get three 
products for the price of one. Um, I forget what these retail for on Mech just right now, but I think that they're closing in on around $40. But um, as you know, with highlighters, you could pay easily that for, um, you know, just one that's regular size. So it's pretty much a good value for money. And uh, anyway, finally, let's get to it and let's pick a winner so that we can uh, send this off to somebody here. So just going around in my little glass bowl and getting through. And uh, okay, let's see. This is for Kelly Gurton. Yay, Kelly. Okay, so Kelly, I'm going to message you and uh, send this out to you. Um, some of our friends live in different countries and I feel terrible for our beautiful sister, Sanjana Moore, who won the um, Carol's Daughter hair oil. I think she's still waiting for it. She lives in Mumbai and Gosh, we sent that out to her April 11th, I think it was, and I don't think she's even still got it yet. So I apologize to those of you that live overseas. I know sometimes it is painfully slow to get things to you. Um, so Sanjana, hang in there. I know it's like, you know, I, as far as I can track it, I can see when it left San Francisco, and it is just still saying it's in transit. So, uh, eventually girl it's going to get there and i i hate that it takes so long so um hang in there with us so kelly this girl is for you and i know kelly actually and um i think this is going to look stunning with her she's got like a, a beautiful kind of a, um naturally tan kind of a skin tone and uh, this gold is going to look so beautiful so i'm excited for you kelly and uh, thank you for, you know, make, making a comment. We'll do some more giveaways in the future. Um, all you really normally need to do to win is uh, follow me on Instagram, which is uh, Mermaid Universal Beauty, and um, be a subscriber here on YouTube on Universal Beauty and leave a comment. And then that's usually how we put the names in the the big glass jar and there's not that many of us right now so it's easy easier to win it's a good time but um yeah so i believe my uh palettes should be arriving and maybe uh we'll do you know another product review on those and uh, we can talk about either the natural lust or the sigma uh warm neutrals volume two or maybe something else. If you ever have suggestions, I'm open to those, so please leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed already, um, please do hit that uh, subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it, so it'll let you know whenever I do a new upload. And uh, always welcome your comments and suggestions. Uh, thank you so much for being here at Universal Beauty, where everybody's welcome. And um, we'll see you next time. And sparkle hard, everybody. Bye-bye.